Hi everybody, welcome to Sunday Brunch with Black Tea. I'm your host Miko. I'm Candice. I'm Lynn. <laughs> she forgot her name. Oh, today, guys. Melinda. <laughs> I was going to say well, I'm Melinda. I was like, whoa. Was like, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, today we have a wonderful show, wonderful show for you guys again, of course. Um, but first we're going to talk about brunch. And I want to, before we get into the brunch, I want to jump to the drinks first. Because okay. I got a little bit creative and unique with the, with the way we delivered our drinks today. Yes, you did. But first off, just, just so you guys can see them, we have it's these little wonderful. buckets. Yeah. These little drink Be buckets. Be dazzled. Be yeah. dazzled. So basically, you know, something creative that you can use at an event, at a party. You can use them mm -hmm. as centerpieces. You can actually put them on your, your um, table for your guests to, you know, utilize, you know, um, and, and, and put stuff in it. We have these little drink pops. And this is actually wine, and that is actually tequila That's what I'm about. and peach. Okay. <laughs> right, it's tequila and peach. Right, right, tequila and peach. And you, and as you can see on the bottom, you can actually um, uh, personalize it. So you can put anything you want on these little uh, pouches mm -hmm. um, at your party. You can put your guest's name if you want to get creative. You can put your event, you know, your event date or theme or anything you want. So it can make your party a little bit more fun right. and exciting, whether it's a wedding, a birthday party, bridal shower, baby shower, any of the things, right? Good, right? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> right. No, right. So, it's, so it's very fun, very something very fun and creative that you can do um, for your for your guests at any of your events and parties. So again, like we always say, you can always leave a comment down below mm -hmm. or check out our website yes. and um, place an order for these or ask any questions about it if you want. But we do have them ready and available for you um, at any time for any occasion. Yes. So let's get into brunch, okay? okay. We're going to get into brunch. All right. So we had some... I don't know if you guys are really into peanut butter, a lot of people, but I, I am. Like I know. Yes, okay. Yes. So you enjoyed those yes. peanut butter waffles. Then. Oh, yes. Never had those before. <laughs> it was no, nice I've never no. had a peanut butter waffle. No. No. Why? No. So peanut butter waffle Jeez. with a honey orange marmalade glaze. Mm -hmm. How was that glaze? Not too sweet, right? No. It's a little bit subtle, the, right? No, because the, it, it, it complimented complimented the peanut butter. There you go. There you go. Right? That was a little word. butter waffles yes. and along with the peanut butter waffles put a little bit of seafood in it today mm -hmm. so we did the my favorite part right Sorry. right <laughs> it was a um we gonna say shrimp yeah because she don't know how to say shrimp right <laughs> oh, i keep telling y'all we all know that i can't say the word <laughs> y'all don't know oh, the no. but i'm about to attempt it okay, okay i'm about to attempt it this is the one she was using okay it was a garlic Almond shrimp, fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. You see that? Okay. Y'all know what I'm saying, though. Y'all get what I'm saying. So it was oh a garlic, gosh. a garlic almond shrimp. So basically, mm -hmm. it was a garlic batter yes. with chopped, um, um, almond. candy chopped almonds yes. and all deep fried together. Mm. How was that? Good, mm -hmm. right? Delicious. I'm trying to tell you. Delicious. And then also we had some. I don't want to call it southwestern, but I guess you can because as soon as you throw those spicy, you know, this thing or something, yeah. something yeah. spicy, uh -huh. it, it makes the southwestern yeah, yes. but it was just it was an egg scramble mm -hmm. it had chopped onions mm -hmm. it had red and green bell peppers mm -hmm. and a little bit of serrano and cheddar cheese and cheddar cheese right, right. and cheddar yes. cheese and it just makes for a really nice subtle kind of but a little spice yeah, it's just a little kick a little spiciness to it yeah, so you had your sweet it? No, Serrano. 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 Okay. Yes, okay. Serrano. Okay. Serrano. Okay. So it, it's like, so you had your sweet mm -hmm. with your waffles. Yes. You had your savory mm -hmm. with your um your eggs. And yes. then you had a nice yes. crunch, you know, uh, yes. with, the, with, with the shrimp. With the shrimp. Mm -hmm. With a nice blend. And mm -hmm. it's different because you don't color. usually have brunch like that. We usually right. Have chicken and waffle type <laughs> thing. <laughs> right. But right. she put a twist on it. Yeah. So all the time. Y'all know I got to keep it fresh and, you know, and fun. So exciting. Exactly. Our wine pops. These are very good. Well, no, they got the they got the tequila. Those look good though. <laughs> yeah. So this is a sangria. A oh, sangria okay. red wine. Yeah. That's but you can nice. do any type of you know drink to it. And there is a there is a certain ratio oh, that yes, you will put when it comes to freezing the liquor. Uh huh. There is a certain liquor to, to actual um, juice ratio that you have to follow in order for it to freeze. Yeah. I've tried it many different ways. Right. I had to keep decreasing my liquor. Out. You know, right. my liquor. <laughs> to keep but it's in there because you can still taste it. it. Right. You can still <laughs> taste it. So it's very fun. It's so very good. creative. You know, your guests will love it because it's something different than walking around with cups in their hand. Yeah. You know, it's something different. Um, it keeps you cool. And it keeps you cool. Good for a summer. Yeah, the summer's right. Yeah. It's, it's actually perfect for 
for summer. It yes. is. Perfect for summer. It, it is. You don't have to with popsicles. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no glass. Right. You're not you know? spilling anything. Exactly. Right. Oh, no. I'm trying to tell you. I'm okay. trying to keep it, okay. you know, keep it fresh like and live. Pool side. Pool side. There you go. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, okay. I got excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're coming with all these good ideas. Yeah. So, you know, y'all yeah, going to be looking. Look, you know, the, the black tea going to be putting on something real soon. Yeah. So, everybody, make sure you, you know. You put it together for y'all. Yeah. 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 Follow us on Instagram yes. at events underscore at underscore black tea. Yes. And you'll know exactly when our events are going to be coming up and happening. So, you can mm -hmm. come and join us. You yes. know, it is a social network. Networking connection, um, you know, event, yes. you know, just a good time. Yes. So, so just keep, you know, follow us on Instagram so that way you'll be able to stay connected and know when we're going to be stay out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, today, though, you know, I, I kind of wanted to get into something, ladies, because. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. people always talk about, you know, having their business, starting their business, mm -hmm. starting their brand, mm -hmm. but then they get so discouraged if they don't have a celebrity attached to it. Ooh. Okay. Lord. What is it about? What is it about? Ha you know, having a celebrity attached to your brand in order to make it seem like it's successful, it's successful or are you validated? Yeah, you know what I mean. You just feel more validated right. than when it's a celebrity. And, and, and it's, it's, and it's, it's, why. it's so sad because people nowadays, and yes, I am losing my notes today, guys. But you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. people nowadays they focus on celebrity couples, mm -hmm. celebrity shows, mm -hmm. and just entertainers period to say, oh, if I get that person or if I can get this person then my 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 it's gonna explode yeah my, my uh, so, product is gonna just uh -huh, go and then you get the ones who do it and it still don't go anywhere right so what do you say about that yeah because there is a lot of celebrities that have been behind a lot, a lot, a lot products and their products did not sell. So right, my, you're absolutely right there. My husband has a friend who has a clothing line who actually does very well, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting him on the show. So I'm not going to tell you who he is yet because okay. I want to surprise you when surprise, he comes. Yes, surprise, but he yes. has a clothing line that does very well. It ended up in a, it ended up in a, a, a movie. Okay. okay. Yes. It ended up in a movie. The person who wore his, his clothing was Anavit about wearing that actual brand in like oh, different different that. scenes right mm -hmm. to support them mm -hmm. but then did nobody else want to see, did nobody else pick him up it didn't make it any better it didn't make him you know just that much more successful in yeah. the you know entertainment right. yeah. industry yeah. Yeah, yeah. he still has his support from all of his customers that he have you know Already. on yeah. a regular yeah. basis yeah. Right. Yeah. but it didn't do anything extra mm. you know the sad thing about it is is that a lot of people really sadly depend on you know having a celebrity in order to make their you know thing i don't think i need it well i think it's for validation i think and, and for that you know those are sometimes are just um a fluke where that one particular celebrity wasn't able to do it but nine out of ten you know a lot of times when i look at products and it being heavily endorsed by um celebrities i think of it as fake because I feel like the celebrities are not, not really using that product. They're just getting paid oh, for promo. Oh, yeah, for free. Uh, yeah, they're, they're getting free. free. That goes way back, though. Because they've been with Liz Taylor. I mean, you know, they, right. there, were, there was a time where celebrity status meant something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting watered down a little bit. Sorry, right. youngsters. But it's getting a little watered down with the Instagram fame and mm -hmm. the this, that fame. and the, yeah. You know what I mean? So we're not um, holding celebrities to their celebrity status. status. Right. We got a lot of people that are just jumping in and getting in there real right. quick. And then we're calling them celebrities. And now you right. man wagging in and trying to get on that project. And so right. to your point, I think of it, it not, just, not necessarily just so much as because it's a celebrity, but because that person has... Celebrities usually tend to come with a lot of followers. They do, and so they Going look at them, the right? Stuff. So they yeah. look at that film, the being able to gain right. more people, more access True. to promote their product, more so than their, that particular person. Because, like I said, when I look at a celebrity and you know endorsing a product, I'm like, okay, is this product, especially if it's just out of you know the blue type of yeah, yeah. product, I'm yeah. like, they're just getting paid for promo. Right. Then I look at, okay, um, you know, is it more than one or, or is promoting them? And like you said to your friend who just was, you know, one person out of many that right. could have been promoting. Mm -hmm. But when I look at the vast majority of product that comes along or a new um, service that people promote on Instagram, I look at it like, okay, what are what are their following? And then how many people are, you know, commenting in it about that, yeah, that particular right. thing, mm -hmm. more so than a particular celebrity. But, okay. you know. Yeah, well, yeah, deeper. because, You're, yeah. You gotta go a little deeper. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> even, even, if the, even if one person, you know, wears it, just say, for instance, you know, 
I get Beyonce to wear, uh, I mean, to use one of my buckets. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, oh, yeah. and I'm saying you Beyonce. Like, like, right. You would tell her. I'm like, saying <laughs> Beyonce because of the status that right, she, she has. has right. This will definitely, oh, like yeah. you said, it sell will out. Off. It will yeah. sell out. But eventually, after she stopped talking about it, yeah, everybody else gonna stop talking about right, it. Right, right, right. It's Sorry, gonna go y'all. away. It's melting. It, 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 Sorry. Go ahead, right. girl. Oh. It, it, go ahead, girl. <laughs> um, but but just like even when you look at it, even with her product, you know, mm -hmm. for example, her her um her clothing line that she had, um, mm -hmm. it's not really like it was before. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't want to. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to be high coming after me. Right. Right. Never mind. right. No. It's not that she's not awesome. <laughs> because I love Beyonce. No. You know what I'm she's saying? Fabulous. But she is celebrity. Right. And, and but that's my point. A celebrity. Exactly. You and that's my point. And she does. Once she stopped really wearing it and really pushing it and really, you know, really standing behind it as much as she was, because she has, what, so much other stuff that going she has on, going on. Right, right. You don't hear people talk about it anymore. Right. It was only hype when she was really what, hyping it up herself. Up, right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so absolutely. when it comes to us as small business owners, we you know, we, we <laughs> need to be our own celebrity. That's my whole, that's my whole purpose. We I'm need saying. to be our own celebrities hey, for each like other. It. Because if I'm going to hype up your company and your brand, and put it out there and really spread the word and keep it going, mm -hmm. I will hope you would do the same for me. Mm -hmm. Because once I stop, <clears throat> then my followers are going to stop. That's there not what go. we want. There you go. We, the, the whole purpose of it is um, to support and, and help, you know, network with right. each other, support mm -hmm. and market each other. Yeah, exactly. so no, don't, just, don't just do it once for me. I appreciate that one time, but keep going because I'm going to keep going for you. Yeah. you and I think that, that that's a part of helping, um, you said the word, key word is supporting each other mm -hmm. and to, to back off because if I am supporting you, my followers see that, mm -hmm. they then they'll want to support. Yes, and I've will. seen that. I, I've, I've got on Instagram and I've seen a product or two that I like and I, you know, because of somebody else that I like and I'm yeah. like, oh, oh okay, and I can follow her too. Yeah. Right. And then you just start seeing that that product is something that you really do like. Not just right. because that person likes right. it, but because you actually are into whatever they, they like as well. Right. So when you see that done a lot, well, I, think it's the, I think the method behind that is interchanging followers. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Okay. You know, like you will be like, if I support you, you're and 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 you know, like again, your fans see my page. Uh -huh. Then it's a matter of you know, we we exchanging, crossing, like crossing, crossing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so that's the ideal of the game is to get you know your followers to follow me and my followers to follow you, and right. then we just support each other. That and way. basically, wow. that's what it is. What it's networking. Mm -hmm. That's Nobody networking. Yeah, it's yeah. social media it's, it's networking. It's right. new ways right. networking. Right. 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 But it's networking. Right. It's Absolutely. all about you know. People, it's like they fail to realize that that right there is such a major part when it comes to running a business, having a business, and owning a business, is the networking. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it alone. Yeah. You cannot, you all know, team. spread the word all and, all and put the information out. You can't do yeah, it alone. You, so you can't. Yeah. So in order for you to have someone to support you, you need that networking connection. Yeah. That's uh -huh. what's going to make you a celebrity. Yeah. Rather yeah. than, yeah. you know, yeah. right. an entertainment celebrity uh -huh. or a celebrity uh -huh. within your own own business mm -hmm. that's what's going to bring your status up yeah not putting that's somebody totally who sense. is already making you know a, a couple million, of million dollars, dollars yeah. in front of your product and saying yeah. oh this person is about to change my life now granted i'm not going to say that it doesn't happen because yeah. well, i think yeah. it may, might get them notice it might yes. be some, right. somebody that especially for a product that is new to to the market right mm -hmm. it might get them to people to notice it because mm -hmm. that celebrity is in front of it yeah it, it doesn't necessarily gonna make it fall off the shelves like right. Right. exactly right. Right. you know and, 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 like unless they're saying, pushing it yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like you that's said, what, yeah. If they're pushing it, it will fall off. And, it ha and, and that means it's not just somebody you want to say, "Hey, do me a favor, can you wear my shirt?" Right. Or, "Hey, do me a favor, can you drink my the water I I, I, I created?" Well, they have that. to be. They have to really believe in your product. Well, too. Not, you or know, the I, I, well, I don't think it's about just necessarily believing. I think some people with integrity say, "Yes, you have to believe in the product for you to be promoting." Mm -hmm. But also, it's a dollar sign attached to it too. Trust and believe. Those celebrities are not just getting a free product. They are getting paid. Well, of course. But yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so the vast majority of a new business, they don't have those funds oh, yeah, to, for, to, to invest to in a new... To get a celebrity. Yeah. To, right. Right. So what, what Miko said, though, be your own 
celebrity. Be your own celebrity. Be your own celebrity because you don't have the funds, right? Most likely to right. do that. So, and eventually, eventually, your celebrity status will grow within your business. Mm-hmm. You know, it eventually will grow. People will eventually latch on to you, mm-hmm. and people will eventually believe more, start believing in you, and really following you, and really, you know, looking up to mm-hmm. what yeah. it is that you're offering. You know, mm-hmm. but then also, and this is just our opinions. You know, this Absolutely. is not anybody else's opinions. Right. Also, I really believe that you have to stay true to your your clientele your fans your customers stay true to them don't 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 utilize them to help you grow your business and once you get somewhere you 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 show them away yeah but what do you mean by that i mean like some people they will like oh yeah you you know you helping me and then as soon as i'm got got to where i I am i don't need your help anymore because now i got all this money over here you know so if you really don't want to roll with me on something because i'm over here now so i got this money don't do that you know what i'm saying you don't know when you go need right don't 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 sit there and say the shirt that i had that was ten dollars that you helped me push Mm -hmm. and you supported me and got it and you were able to purchase Mm -hmm. oh now this shirt is gonna be forty five dollars if you can't afford it i'm sorry to say that i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you right you you can have a higher end line on things regardless of what kind of product you have you can have a higher end line but you still want to stay true to those people who started with you right you know what i'm saying i want to still be able to offer something to you because you exactly Uh but a lot of people do that I've no, no. seen, this is just my opinion mm-hmm. from what I've noticed, mm-hmm. a lot of people will get started in something and all of a sudden so you small. can't afford it no right. more. You're yeah. like, wait, when you, when you were selling your $25 pair, you know, uh, uh, pants, I was, I would had your back. Right. Now, now you want to tell me, it's oh, not well, for the look, it's not horrible right. for the little people. Yeah, yeah. don't yeah. do that. Right. Because those small people are going to help keep you going. Right. And now, you know what I'm saying? We are the main ones that will help keep I'm you going. I'm trying to tell you. you think about it, the big brands, that you know, um, like the Gucci and Louis Vuitton, mm-hmm. people will break their neck to get those items no, yes, and mm-hmm. spend their last mm-hmm. on it, mm-hmm. and they're the one keeping the business going. It's not the people who are necessarily well. I mean, yeah, you, you see people in you know the, the reality shows carrying certain purses right. and things like that. Yes, right. they have nice things, and that's what makes us want to get them. Uh-huh. You know, what I mean, the regular people, but you break your back to get it. But at oh, the same sure time. Will. You yeah. had that one purse, or that yeah. one pair of shoes, or that one outfit in their closet, yeah, right. and not that name on it. Right. right. But you best, you better believe that everywhere they go, they're carrying it, yeah. so somebody else is going to see it. They're going to say, oh, where'd you get that from? Right. And then that person's going to be, it's all about connecting the networking. Making it's all about happen. making it happen. Yes. So, with that said, you know, it's basically just like, you know, I, I, I don't want people out there to be discouraged when it gets to the point to where they feel like, you know, nobody's really latched on to what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it all goes back to you as an individual, you know what I'm saying, in your business. Grow your business. Become your own celebrity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word. Make it exciting. Hype it up. You can be your own hype man. Mm-hmm. You know, hype it up. Mm-hmm. Anything that you hype up and make it sound like it's just just that better, that much better, mm-hmm. it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm going to okay. tell you guys a quick little story. Real, real quick. Okay. You know, I was probably like about maybe 26 years old. Yeah. I was heavily in the fashion industry. I was, you know, <laughs> making clothes. I designed clothes as well. So, well, you know, you can do it all day. <laughs> So I design clothes as well. So you know, and I'm a visual designer, which makes it a little bit more easier for me to be very creative because I can lay cut and sew. So I said, you know, I had this, you know, clothing line going. You know, urban, you know, Monico Urban Chic. You know, I was doing my thing. I was flying to New York fashion show. I went to the Atlanta fashion show. You know, and I was just like, people were seeing me. You know, I was like, every fashion show I worked on. People were like, I wore my stuff. They were, who, who, where you get that from? Oh, that's me. Uh-huh. Oh, I want you to be in my show. Can you do my show? Which put, which end up having me end up on uh, Fashion Over Forty Third, which is a really big fashion show wow. in New York as a as a featured new up and coming designer. So, nice. I, honey, when I tell you I was in that 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 showroom and or on that runway and I just was loving it. Oh, but wow. the whole point of my story is, is that inspired me to put together a fashion show. Okay. Okay. So I came home back home. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, I'm about to put together a fashion show. I didn't have not a dime in my pocket, okay? But I said, I'm going to put together a fashion show. I 
found a um uh, um what you call that an art gallery. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk to the guy. He was like, "Yes, you can use it. Beautiful art gallery. Wow. Very, mm -hmm. very, you know, eclectic. It was uh, really nice, you uh, know." Uh, and um, he was he he built me a stage, honey. I had a runway. He built me uh, walls. So you could, so I'm thinking. I was like, "Okay." So I swear, I, I put out my own press release, honey. When I tell you, I hyped it up. I wow. hyped it up. They did a write up on it, honey. So I was like, "Yes, honey." You know, hot new undiscovered designers. It was called the HUD Fashion Show, the HUD Fashion Show, hot undiscovered designers. I had designers coming from. North Carolina, they came from Atlanta, they came from Chicago, they came. They flew out here with That's their right. stuff just to do my show. Oh, now, wow. mind you, I, I wasn't in a single store, right? Okay, I didn't have a single celebrity status. I didn't have uh, not that a dime in my pocket. Wow. Wow. Instagram, okay? that, before yeah. Instagram, I literally used just the basic internet and other little avenues to kind of hype this show. When I did my press release, I got like five stars on it wow. because they said it was one of the best press release that they have ever seen mm. from a from from a, a non journalist yeah, yeah. from a non journalist so I give myself kudos for that. Right. Okay. But you should. So uh -huh. you know, right. get you know I ended up getting a liquor sponsor. Uh -huh. I had all the liquor sponsors. The only thing I did have to provide was the food, but that was okay. Yeah. You know that was okay. But I had a liquor sponsor, honey. Wow. Okay. Had all the vodka we could mm -hmm. have we could ask for. That's okay. Amazing. So I'm thinking okay yeah we probably get about fifty to sixty maybe seventy mm -hmm. people in there. Okay. Honey, I had well over 200 people in that show. Mm -hmm. They were buying tickets at the door. Now, I sold tickets in advance. I wow. created my own website, figured out how I can get these tickets sold, mailing out tickets to people. I made my own tickets. Mm -hmm. I made my own this tickets. I, I did it all. Okay? Oh. I did it all. And I, uh, we ended up having, uh, when they counted, they did the head count for me. We had a little bit over 200 people there. Not only did we have a little bit over 200 people there, Women's Wear Daily showed up to my show. Okay, WWD. Anybody in the fashion industry knows oh, what women mm -hmm. women's wear daily. Mm -hmm. It's a big, big, um, Damn, um, yeah. um, you know, company mm -hmm. when it comes to um, fashion, um, you know, uh, magazines and everything. Okay. Okay. New York, uh, the New York Times came. So their hub that they have here in, in California, their writers came, okay. and the LA Times came, and they did a write up on my show. Wow. Okay. I would you never forget huge. that. And I say that only to say that you can be your own hype man. Uh -huh. and you can be your own celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have done it. Exactly. Wow. You know, and um, I had my artist singing and everything. Right at the time, he wasn't really a known artist, but he does his thing now and stuff overseas. But he wow. had his album out. So I had an artist performing, had the runway. I utilized my brother, honey. He was my MC. You know, yes. I did everything that I can, but the way I set it up, you know, I had all these little little tables I made and I created I had my little logo on them and everything so I made it look like something that somebody would have yeah. like been yeah. put together right with no money okay uh, well, very well. Well. Very how you, did it. you did it so I say that to say that anything is possible mm. and all the help and the support that I got I did most of it by myself because I was like you know there's no way that I can bring people into something and I can't pay them that was my thought process mm. I've always thought like that mm. I can't have people doing a whole lot of stuff for me and I can't pay them but see that's you know, when barter services come into it that's oh, what it comes yeah. in that's barter what it comes in so you do this for me yeah. I do that for uh -huh. you yes. we work, we work with each other and help each other out mm -hmm. you know and be faithful to each other yeah. stay consistent with it you yes. know what I'm saying yes. so you know when I did that you know it opened up a lot of avenues and, mm -hmm. and it built different relationships with different designers mm -hmm. purse designers I had there I had a shoe designer there mm -hmm. um, men's clothing designer I like a little bit of everybody mm -hmm. and once they once I told talk to them and really got a chance to sit down and talk with them they really was like you really did this with By nothing. yourself. I'm like, look at honey. I, I, I had a vision. I had a, I had a vision and a goal, and I was like, I know I can make this happen. Wow. You know. So when you, when you, going so back you again. You did it once. You can do it. I again. can do it again. Yes. I know I can. <laughs> I know I can. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But the support that you get from your friends and family who really truly believe in you uh -huh. will help you manifest what it is that you're trying to do. Right. You know. And then the ones that don't believe in you, you tell them, okay, thank you very much. And you and think you about you, that was like over. 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, right? I hope that go. And, and, <laughs> and this day and age is so easy to put it's it out so there. Easy. That was hard to do, and it was it was done. It was you know I mean yeah. you were able to do it in a time where it wasn't even um, internet friendly. I mean, it, yeah, it wasn't. Was yeah, just, it wasn't at your hand. It you know, wasn't. As far it wasn't as at your fingertips. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had to go put some footwork. Yeah, that was definitely. Work. Yeah. Yeah. From yeah. making flyers, passing out flyers. I mean, I went to different. Um, you had DJ. I had a DJ. That's all, buddy. You had how long did you have to get all together? 
it took me three months. It took me three months. So what I did was is I, I sat down one day at work and I said, I want to do a fashion show. I gave myself three months to put it together. Wow. And that wasn't, that, right, that wasn't enough time. That wasn't enough time. Because I, and I, I could have like, listen here. <laughs> no, she it took me three, three months. months. Literally wow. three months. Well, and so that was one of the things that when you think, when you think about business, it's like, you know, people who like you, she, she has a likability. Mm -hmm. And so people will support you when they have a likability, but then they will, um, when they trust you, they'll buy from you. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so yes. she was selling something which was her name. Right. You know what I mean? And right. so that's why they were able to come on board. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I think that's big is that is, you have to have a, you know, just because you have, some people have more, more means as far as having financial, um, you know, backings from, you know, their relatives or, or they might have saved up. And sometimes when you when you're getting ready, especially as a new business, you think, okay, well, I got money, I can do this and get my product out there. But do you have that like ability to even gain your customers? Right, you and to keep I mean? it going. And that's that's yeah. essential that to have. have it does way. because then we you know as we talk about in several other um, shows that you know customer service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you don't have that like ability, and you can't provide the customer service. How far are you really gonna go? And you're not gonna go too far. Mm -hmm. And regardless if you got a celebrity backing you exactly. or not, you can have five of them backing you. Yes. But if you are not a person that people can like literally trust, you yes. know that they're getting a good product and mm -hmm. that you know then they you know and and also if you if you're not putting in that much effort to promote your, your own self, self yeah. and you're depending on, on somebody else, else yes. the, somebody else's status yes. to you make you you know it's uh, short lived. It's gonna be yeah, short lived. It's short lived. Yeah. Like you can't you can't depend on this person that already mm -hmm. made it to make you make it right. and that's basically saying you're being lazy you're not willing to put in and the, the work. footwork and the mm -hmm. work the grind yes. to, to build your business uh -huh. oh I'm going to ride on this co his coattail or her right. coattail because they've already got a, a, a status right. and then hopefully my status will come from them that's not how you do it mm -hmm. because then when something happens and that person can no longer carry you mm -hmm. Then you're left. Dead weight. Right. Yeah. You're dead weight. You're dead weight. Yeah. Then you're left it. with trying to figure out how to can to keep this going. Right. Because right. you built a status that wasn't realistic. Mm -hmm. It's not that wasn't realistic. Right. Because that was somebody else's status. Right. right. You know? So you just everybody just has to understand and know, like I said, I sound like a broken record probably today, and I'm gonna say it again. Mm -hmm. Be your own celebrity. Yeah. You know, make that's things the, happen for yourself. Uh uh um believe in yourself. And, and things will eventually will come, mm -hmm. you know, and eventually and work will hard and work yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. That the grind is real, honey. Yes. You know, the grind is real. Right. You know, I have a, another one of my husband's friends who has a clothing line called Grind Flip, mm -hmm. and it's and it's it's for real. You yes. know, the mm -hmm. grind is real. You have to really put some, you know, get your feet feet wet, get your hands dirty. Yes. You know, yes. get your hands dirty in order for it to work out. We, we can do it for a nine to five. You can do it for yourself. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. tell yeah. you. And we can do it at a nine to five with no thought. Yeah, like, you are work every day. Away, work over time, but yeah. you know, sometimes over time you have to put it to yourself. So it's like, how much do you want it? Right, right, to right. Happen, so. right. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 you put so much dedication, you put so much focus, you put so much, you know, uh, 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 extra effort into making sure the fine details are taken care of mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. and then you lack on the yeah. side yeah. of your, your own, own self. Your own ideas and your yeah. own things. You know, don't 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 cut yourself short. Sure. Mm -hmm. Don't cut yourself short. Right. Make sure that you put in just as much effort right. as you do with anything else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so you know, with that being said, everyone, you know, we just want to, you know, make sure that we understand and 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 realize the importance of networking, connecting, um, helping each other out, supporting each other, supporting each other and um, sure. a, a new thing being a celebrity for our own self. Yes. Yeah, that's that's, that's our that. new thing. You yes. know, we're going to own learn how to be our own 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 yes. you know, ambassador. Own exactly. Yes. So so so. so you know, you don't have to worry about somebody, you know, letting you loose and you trying to figure out how to keep it going. Right. Okay. Because you already know how to keep it going because you've been the one who built right. that celebrity status for your own company. Right. And, be, and be a cheerleader for your, your friends. Like, yes. I remember not too long ago, not to bring this up, <laughs> this story, but I have a black t-shirt sh t on and uh, somebody said, oh, you, you wear that on? You, you wear that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> if I don't wear it, why am I gonna how am I gonna be supportive? Supporting yeah. 
your, you know, your brand. How are we going to do that? Right. So, yeah. And that's what we do. Yeah, that's what I love. Because you <laughs> give me something, honey, I'm going to support it. I'm going to wear it, you know, whenever mm -hmm. I can. I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about it. I'm mm -hmm. going to tell some people about it. Mm -hmm. I start talking to somebody. They need to think, you know, I know somebody who yes. Yes. That's exactly. what it's all about. Yes. Yes. That's what it's all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. I love that. So, mm -hmm. again, I want to thank you ladies for joining me today. This was fun, as yes. always. Yes. As yes. always. Yes. And thank you guys for joining us as well. Yes. And again, don't mm -hmm. forget to like or subscribe to the channel if yes. you like the show. Or even if you just want to see the next shows that's coming up. You know, mm -hmm. just click like and subscribe to the channel as well. And you can also follow us again on Instagram yes. at events. At, I mean, events. I mean, Lord, I can't even say it. Mm -hmm. Events mm -hmm. underscore yes. at underscore sure. black tea. Yes. I told y'all, y'all already know. You it. It. <laughs> right. If you watch us every week, you know I get tongue tied right, right here. Time, so that's time. events underscore at AT underscore black tea. Don't forget to go on ahead and check us out on Instagram. We're going to be doing some sh um, some um, live shows coming up. Yes. And we're also going to be doing some events coming up. So if you follow us on Instagram, you'll be able to find out where we're going to be and when this stuff is going to take place. Yeah. Um, so again, thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. So let's connect and let's network. As always, see y'all right. later.